With his contract set to end in October, forensic evidence advisor with the U.S. Embassy in Kingston, Craig Doerr, is of the opinion that the JCF has no desire to change. He disclosed that while he has submitted reports on developing forensic capabilities in the force, very little has been done. He lamented that there is no DNA database in Jamaica three years after legislation was passed. Everybody has expectations about what the police can do and how the police can solve crime. What we don't have, though, is we don't have something that overcomes some of the parochial attitudes that exist. We don't have someone who is well-informed uh, and at a strategic position who can make and influence policy and instruction. Mm -hmm. uh, and these two things alone would make a huge difference. Mr. Duo said he has made several presentations before the police high command. When you go to these meetings and you see the stark figures and you give them the statistics, uh, the eyes are open wide. But there's no appetite for doing anything as a follow-up mechanism to change. That's what we need to do. We need to change and improve. Is there anything that would cause you to reconsider your decision to end your contract early? I, I love my work. Uh, I, if, I, if I had the job to do, I would be here doing it. But I've got to the stage where I really think I've exhausted all the opportunities. Uh, I'm at the stage now where I have submitted duplicate and repeat reports, and my head has been becoming numb, banging it against the brick wall. And Mr. Dewar also raised concern that local police are not taking mock shots of detainees. It's covered in the Fingerprint Act of 1936. If you're detained as a suspect uh, for a scheduled defence mm -hmm. in the Fingerprint Act, the police can take your fingerprints and your photographs. It's not being done. Sasha Lee Hamilton, Frontline News.